So I think they have the ability to run the football and throw it. Um, they'll matriculate the ball down the field or they'll be explosive. But I think when you just put the, pull the whole thing back, it all goes back to it's like watching Peyton Manning. It's like watching Drew Brees, you know, call the game at the line of scrimmage. Um, I, think, I think what Dak's doing right now is uh, unbelievably impressive. Man, I love hearing that from Matt Rule. Because, Michael, you'll remember after the opener against the Bucks, I told you that Dak Prescott was about to kick in the door, wave in the 4-4 to the top five quarterback club. And it's just great to hear Matt Rule talk about Dak from a cerebral perspective um, and what he's doing at the line of scrimmage. And speaking of cerebral, uh, Chris Sims, Christopher Sims, uh, has a lot of smart things to say about football in general and quarterback play in particular, which we'll get to momentarily. But um, as a, a fly on the wall, so to speak, in this uh, very active group chat over the weekend, I feel like uh, our brother from another Chris Sims deserves the opportunity to talk his ish uh, over, the, uh, over the week after the way he was over the weekend with given what the Yankees did to Holly's Red Sox is. So Chris, take it away. Oh, I mean, I don't have much to say, you know, it just, it seems like the universe is going back in the right direction. Red Sox blowing things for 80 or 90 years and Yankees winning things. So I don't know. I'm just glad I got that. But that was, oh, there it is right there. Yeah, a lot of bad words. Oh, mutta, 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 mutta. Yeah, but that was awesome. I enjoyed it. Chris Sims. Look at this. Look, hey, man. First of all, I'm glad you had your fun over the weekend. I really had nothing to say. I couldn't even say anything. I, I like, I'm, I, I have these very, like, lame responses because you had control. I knew you had control. I couldn't say anything to you. But this is what I'm gonna say to you right now, Chris Sims. I'll see you next week. I'll see you next week. That one game playoff, likely in Yankee Stadium, and that's what it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt, it's gonna matter. <laughs> Look, they won. They swept the Red Sox. They ragged all them. They had fun. Lots of Yankee fans around the city. I saw them all over the place with the Yankee hats. Okay, they had fun. They took control of Fenway Park. But next week in New York City, which is much more fun socially than Boston, I'll admit it. A lot more to do in New York than Boston. Go, go to New York, go win that one game playoff, and make you suffer at home. So get ready. We'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna say you're more confident in my Yankees than I am. I'm not even sure we're gonna get in here yet. We still got to play they the Blue there. Jays again and the Rays. So uh, we've been known to blow a few games this year. I'm just hoping we get in, and I, that would be awesome to see Red Sox Yankees. <laughs> I'm rooting for. Like that. Said, I'm rooting for Red Sox I, Yankees. I, Good. I, I'm just here. I'm just here for the group chat fun. I got like my name is Paul. That's between y'all. I just was. I just enjoyed observing y'all go back and forth. All right. But he um, was like he was wild and out though. You were wilding yeah. out in the group chat, though. Like, it, you, something yeah, ain't was. right with you. Seriously, I, you are messed up. Well, we know that. We know that. <laughs> uh, back, back to Dak Prescott, who's not doing a whole lot of messing up at all right now. One of the marquee games of the weekend, who would have thought Cowboys, Panthers, but specifically Dak Prescott. He's said it a few times. I'm better than I've ever been. I wonder what that looks like from your vantage point, Chris. How is Dak Prescott better than he's been, which is pretty damn good for several years now? It is. It's pretty damn good for several years. He's one of those guys that like, I feel like I had to defend a lot like two, three years ago, you know, to go like, no, this is your franchise guy, Dallas Cowboy fans. This is the man. He's everything you want, you know, but of course they weren't winning games in some of those. So it was his fault, right? I mean, it's back to the same old story where it's amazing is I don't even think he's a hundred percent like physically himself yet either. I don't think he can run quite to the capacity he could before the ankle injury. But where he's better than before is a little bit like what Matt Rule's talking about. It's pre-snap recognition. It's when the ball is snapped, he just sees the, the field perfectly, almost every play. He's become a little bit of a machine robot that way. And when there are people open or barely open, he very rarely misses the target. He stands tough in the pocket. And each week we've seen a little bit more movement outside of the pocket. So I, I couldn't be happier for Dak Prescott. I've been a big fan of his for a long time. I've, I've been with him in person twice at the Super Bowl. He came on my podcast and he won me over immediately. He had already won me over on the field. But then when I saw what kind of man he is, 
what kind of leader you could just tell he's got you know that it factor um i'm really happy for him and he's rolling and yes he is one of the I, best listen, quarterbacks in football there's no denying that I, I totally relate to how you started. I remember it went not that, not that long ago, a couple years ago, I had people coming at my head for picking Dak over Carson Wentz. Remember when that was a thing? Like, who's better, Dak or Carson Wentz? I'm like, Dak sure. Prescott. It's like, are you crazy? Curtis. Oh, so, anyway, Michael, go ahead. Well, look, let, let's go from, from one part of Texas to another because uh, I, I hear now that Jay Glazer's reporting. Everybody's had some report. Uh, all, all of our insiders, everybody else's insiders have some report, but the latest from Jay Glazer is that that the Texans are softening on their stance with Deshaun Watson and and Glazer just keeps dropping some hints that something's going to happen. I think and tell me if you disagree. I think if if Deshaun Watson is traded to the Miami Dolphins, the Dolphins go from a team that I'm not even thinking about. I'm not worried about to a serious contender in the AFC. What say you, Chris Sims? No, I, I, I agree with that. As long as the NFL lets him play after they make that trade, I would totally agree with you. Hey, Deshaun Watson's special. I mean, he is a top five quarterback, 100%. He was going into the year before the year. At the, he played awesome last year and had crap all around him. You know, it, it, I've had these conversations a lot with Florio on Pro Football Talk, you know. Uh, yeah, Casario was going off radar on teams. That's the GM of the, the Houston Texans for all those that don't know. But yeah, he was, you know, driving a hard bargain. I think people were having a hard time getting in regular conversations with him about, you know, the trade and let's, you know, what do you want? Let's talk this out. Let's try to work something. But, you know, again, I, I, I do think if the trade's made, Michael Holly. I, I do think the NFL is going to step in and probably say, wait, you can't play. We got to push you on the commissioner exempt list. But here's the aspect I think some people are missing. To me, if, if the Dolphins lose a few more games and they realize, wait, okay, you know, maybe we can get in the playoffs, but we're not a real Super Bowl team. We're not where we really want to be. I, I think that makes them more dangerous to trade for Deshaun Watson and happen. And I think that's what they got to watch out from other teams too. If you're Miami and you really do want Watson, like same thing with Philadelphia. If Philadelphia is like one and five here in, the, in a few weeks and things are going good, they might just go, hey, it's over. We've seen enough from Jalen Hurts. We know Watson's awesome. Let's make the trade. I think it could be one of those teams that's going, all right, it's not going to work for us this year, but now let's start looking for the next two, three, five, ten years. And uh, Watson's a game changer from all aspects of an organization. So I agree with you all the way there. Just if they let him play this year, that's the big question. Hey, thanks for watching Brother from Another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern time on Peacock. Appreciate you.